Here's the latest news in the AI tech space. First off, we're going to start off with Meta. And Meta is planning on putting AI all over its platform, according to Axios and other news sources. Let's deep dive into what exactly they're going to be adding. So here are just some of the things that Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, has mentioned in a recent meeting. And essentially, the first one we're going to be seeing is the ability for customers to use a text prompt that can modify their own photos and share them in Instagram stories. Now, for people who don't use Instagram or even Facebook, you might not think this is a big deal, but essentially, from what it seems like, they're starting to implement more AI generation image into their system. And as we've seen with other famous companies in the space, such as Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, Adobe, soon almost every image we're gonna see online in the next few years, I predict, will have some sort of AI effect, whether it is generated from scratch or it is a filter that they added onto it or it's a simple customization. If you've seen previous videos with the new Adobe generated fill, then you could potentially predict what some of people's Instagram social media posts are going to look like in the next few years. Next up, we have AI agents that have different personalities and capabilities to help or entertain. And they state here that that's essentially for Messenger and WhatsApp. Now, if you're not sure what AI agents are, then definitely you can deep dive into that. But essentially, from at least this particular reference for Facebook seems to be something to keep users on the app and think of these almost as personal avatars. I did cover a video before where somebody did an experiment with multiple different AI agents and they put them in a video game and essentially without really any structure, they managed to figure out how to use stuff in the virtual world as well as how to communicate exactly what phrases to say. So I'm assuming Facebook probably is going to make something similar to where you'll be able to interact with some sort of character and essentially is going to be almost as if it's human-like. But until then, we'll just have to wait until that feature's out. Another mention is Zuckerberg has talked about sharing research regarding AI with the open source community. Now, for people who don't know what open source is, essentially it is showcasing the code out to the public. So for since open source projects, if people have program or no coding, then they definitely understand this. But for people who have no idea, essentially it's either they hide the code, so it's all private, they don't know exactly what's going on. And depending on the scale and size of the company, you could not know exactly if there's anything bad or stuff that you might not want to see if it's not out there. Open source, however, it's out to the public. Other people can contribute, build upon it in terms of the ability to scale, find errors, and upgrade the product. It's just a much easier and seamless flow. And especially for AI, what a lot of these companies, being open and transparent with how they're collecting data, getting all of their information, and in general, running the business is a big deal because eventually, once regulations and other rules come into play, then it's good to know exactly what is going on behind the scenes. And here is an image from The Verge. And this right here, what you're looking at, is a screenshot of Instagram's upcoming app that is competing with Twitter. And as you can see from here, this does look like a Instagram style comment post. However, it has more of a Twitter or essentially a structured post to it. And they have it currently called Project 92. So that is something interesting that we're about to see upcoming in the next few months. And according to here, it seems that this is their way at essentially throwing direct shade at Elon Musk of handling Twitter. As you guys might have known that Elon Musk did buy Twitter and he has been doing whatever he really wants. However, Facebook, Instagram, massive users on both of those apps. And 
being essentially the big company they are, they could easily replicate a Twitter-like social media application and then essentially tie this in with AI and any a feature that Twitter essentially has. Next thing you know it, Instagram, Twitter, Project 92 that they have currently named for it could easily rival, if not be better, just depends on how they run it and see how it goes from here. But aside from Meta, what else has been going on in the world? Well, let's take a look at some other amazing things. Now this one, if you did not see, it is Apple Vision Pro. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, this isn't really an AI. Well, it is and it's not. Let's take a look at exactly what this is. So right off the bat, we can see it is some sort of AR, VR looking like headsets, except it seems to be see-through from this image and it covers your eyes. So it looks almost like could be goggles you use for swimming underwater. However, doesn't look like you can do that with this technology. So let's just go ahead and see what exactly is the hype. Now, there are some amazing videos showcasing the Vision Pro. And as of currently right now, it says available early next year in the US. But this particular clip right here, just look at this. Multiple screens visibly as if you are in some sort of virtual reality world. This is something that we have been fantasizing in video games, even movies. And as a kid growing up, seeing this type of technology years ago would be something that I would have never even considered being a reality anytime soon. However, now, according to Apple's Vision Pro, we are seeing a start of a potential futuristic world where technology meets fantasy. And as of right now, this thing obviously is quite large and it's not like in the movies where you have a little light on your glasses and it's much more, I could say, subliminal and hard to notice, but this is a start. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because, well, one, imagine AI infused with what you're seeing. Next thing you know it, it's gonna be like Iron Man Jarvis. You can name it, whatever you wanna call it, but imagine Apple, Siri, hey, play this movie. Hey, order me this, do this. Infuse AI, whatever you can think AI futuristic technology combined with this virtual visible screen on your eyes, the possibilities are endless. And as of right now, this is just Apple's edition. And if you guys do keep up with technology and companies out there, usually when someone comes out with something mind blowing, game changing, guess what? The other companies have to retaliate. They have to come out with a product of similar or even better features or else the number one company who comes out, aka Apple as of right now, will dominate the space. Now there are other VR, AR headsets out there. So I guess it depends on the features, but as of right now, this one that I've seen looks the most advanced. And you can see here, they're just walking around in their house or looks like office space and literally FaceTiming their friends easily without having to use their hands carrying a phone and you just have this thing on your head. So again, there are some pros and cons as in terms of some people might get dizzy wearing this kind of stuff and others might not like the look and it obviously is large and might be difficult to carry around. But I can see in the next few years, this is just the version one. Imagine in the future, you have a little tiny thing on your face. Next thing you know it, you're able to communicate with people all over the world and do pretty much anything you can do in terms of your phone or your laptop. Plus, adding AI into that, the future is looking quite bright. But as of now, we will have to wait and see. But as of today, this is the updates in the AI and tech space. So if you do wanna see the latest, greatest, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.